Welcome back to Up North at Four. For the first time ever, we're trying out a new segment called Northern Delights. And joining us for the first time, it is Private Chef Luke, based out of Eagle River. Chef Luke. Glad to be here. I'm so happy that we're able to make this happen. Absolutely. How did you get the uh, the cooking bug, as it were? You know, it started out at a really young age, like for most people. Mm -hmm. You know, you start out cooking with your grandparents, your parents, and before you know it, it becomes a part of your life. I remember my father, he's a floor installer, but like on Mondays, he would already be planning dinners for the weekend. And I thought that was really odd. Yeah. But what he was doing is his passion was cooking. And what he was doing for me at a young age was creating food memories. Food memories are huge. Like I'm sure you guys have food memories. You remember your favorite meals, who you were with? It was such a wonderful part. Yeah. Yeah, and now you're a private chef working locally. Yeah. People can hire you for their private events. Absolutely. And we have tapped you now for <laughs> <laughs> We're going to learn how to cook Eggs Benedict today. Absolutely. Which, you know, on the surface could be, you know, simple, but it's not, is it? Well, it is, but, you know, just the word Eggs Benedict sounds kind of intimidating, right? Like if I said, go make some Eggs Benedict, you're probably like, yeah, I'm not that guy. I'll fry you some bacon and some eggs. <laughs> right, right. But we're going to show you today a foolproof way to make this happen. Like it's going to be a really nice weekend this weekend. Maybe you want to get out in the boat on the golf course. You might have to butter up the wife before. <laughs> Before you do it, you go. make her yeah. some eggs benedict. We're going to get you there. Perfect. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So I love how you said it's foolproof this way because uh, <laughs> Je Jeff and myself are here. So yeah. we have two fools <laughs> and we'll see how foolproof this actually yes. is. When we uh, have questions, we'll hit the buzzer. Perfect. Just to stop and kind of regroup. <laughs> because yeah. we're in your world right we're, now. We're, yes, we're in your world now. Perfect. So please hey. teach us and our audience how to make eggs benedict. I'm here to guide you through it, guys. All right, so where do we start? Yeah, so we're going to start. There's two things that can hang us up through this eggs benedict. If you follow what I say, we're going to get it through it just fine, and you're going to be on the golf course or in that fishing boat <laughs> sooner than you realize. Yeah. So the first thing is poaching an egg. And there's okay. things we can do to tip the odds of success success in our favor. Number one is buying the freshest eggs possible. Now, uh, some egg brands actually have the expiration date right on the edge of the carton. I see it. Oh, right here? Okay. Is this what we're talking? Yeah. So there's other brands. I believe Egglands Best Eggs are a brand that'll just put a three-digit code on the edge of the carton. And it won't make much sense. It'll say like, for example, 125. What does that mean to you? That's 125 days into a 365 day year. So if you're looking for these eggs and you have one that says 125 and one that says 130, grab the one that says 130. Those eggs are five days fresher. So that's the first thing you can do. It all starts with the shopping, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take about, oh, I would say a tablespoon or a little less of white vinegar. Now we have about two inches of water in here. Yep. We're at about 180 degrees. We're gonna go ahead. We're just gonna take our vinegar, guys. We're just gonna put it right in there, okay? okay? And temperature here is important because? It absolutely is. You don't wanna boil the egg. You know, 202 degrees, that's our boiling point. Mm -hmm. We're not looking for a hard boiled egg here, right? Right, right. So 180 to 190 is what we're kind of looking for. You can go a little under, a little over, it's forgiving, but you gotta have a target to shoot for. So that's what we're gonna shoot for. Perfect. So if we look inside our saucepan here, you're gonna see the buildup of bubbles, right? So yep. we want this to turn out perfectly for our wives. We mm -hmm. wanna get out fishing. One thing we can do is we can take our spoon and we actually wanna get rid of some of these bubbles because what will happen is these bubbles are going to float to the top and they're actually going to indent our egg. So the bubbles are gone, okay. vinegar is in, the water is right temperature. Right on. We're in a good spot. You're a very good spot. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a vortex or a tornado Ooh. in the water, guys. Hey, that's a that's a bureau. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, I'm going <laughs> nice and tight. Okay, tight. But you got to go clockwise. I do? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Chef Luke, he's got tricks. I like this guy. I like this guy. <laughs> Keep it nice and tight. Okay. And then we're going to put this right into the eye of the storm, my man. All right, you ready? Oh Can you I ready? see Chef Luke do it first? Okay. The trick here now is leave it alone. Don't leave it alone for about three and a half minutes, right? Okay. So in the meantime, we can do some other things to prepare our eggs benedict. Got it. One of which is getting our 
English muffin in the toaster oven. Okay. I can do that. All right, Hope awesome. Up. What we're gonna do now, guys, is we're gonna take the next aspect of our Eggs Benedict, and we are going to show the wife we actually really care because we know they love avocados. I don't know many women that do not like avocados. So we're gonna go ahead. I love avocados too. <laughs> I do too. We're gonna go ahead and just peel this, peel off. Try not to gouge Wait, the avocado. Like the toast. Pick so the better avocado half. And then what we're gonna do, guys, remember, we wanna take our time, we wanna very carefully do some really sl thin slices here. Okay? All right. Take your time. And so, Chef Luke, while we do this, we're gonna take a quick break and stick with us, because we're gonna be finishing this Eggs Benedict on the other side. Hollandaise sauce coming up. Oh, yes. And welcome back to Up North at Four. We're joined by Private Chef Luke here in our first installment of Northern Delights. We're working on Eggs Benedict. The, uh, the English muffin's coming out, it's looking good. What's the, uh, what's the next step here? Chef yeah, Luke? so the next step is plating. And believe it or not, you can do everything right, but you need to make sure you finish it off properly. We need the plate right. Okay. So believe it or not, less on a plate is more. They've done scientific studies when you have less on a plate, it's more appealing. So we're only gonna put one English muffin on our plate. Okay. And it's beautiful that we have white saucers. It's gonna contrast really well. We're gonna put this guy center mass, right? Okay. Okay. Beautiful, that looks great. We're gonna take the avocado, very gently, put that right over the English muffin. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna grab our Novalox. Now Novalox, you can find these in your local grocery store. Mm -hmm. Triggs is a great place to get Novalox. Basically, a Novalox is a cold smoked salmon. It's gonna be a little bit different than a hot smoked salmon. Mm -hmm. So a cold smoked salmon is smoked well under like 150 degrees, typically around that 90 to 100. Wow. And we're also gonna get a beautiful contrast in color. So we have a white plate, the brown muffin, the green avocado. Now guys, let's get a little crazy here. This is where you can get creative look at this this beautiful color on our eggs benedict let's make a little bed for our egg bed for the egg bed for the egg my man yeah this is mr nate all right i'm okay. gonna go ahead and i'm gonna very gently take out my poached egg okay this is important guys you pass this you're pretty well in the clear okay. that's why i leave it up to jeff <laughs> <laughs> Is the moment too big? Does he have it? Come on, Jeffrey. Come on. Oh, that's not too bad. All right, okay. So one thing I want to show you guys, and, and for those people at home doing this, we can clean up the wispies on that. With the scissors, with a, with a fork, you can put that on a cutting board and just kind of cut it up around the yolk and just kind of shape it. So don't be afraid to do that. All right, jump the hair down. <laughs> Here, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do a little. See, I feel like that is not the way. Oh, that worked. That did that not work. There we go. <laughs> to go the go way ahead and just flip it. One thing you want to do is pat it dry because what's going to happen? Just very lightly. What's going to happen is we're going to get water on our plate, guys. We don't, we don't want, want that. that. Right. Absolutely not. Don't want to break this either. Okay. 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 So then, very carefully, we're going to put it right onto our bed of salmon. You got this. Careful. Come on, Jeff. Come on, Jeff. Come on. Uh, oh, oh, wait. Oh, 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 oh. oh. All right, don't touch it. That'll work. That's good. <laughs> I think. Beautiful. Stay. What do you think, Chef Luke? I, we're going to cover it up with some hollandaise. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's okay. a polite way of saying, eh, it's not great. Okay. Guys, next what we're going to do, so you've gotten this far. We darn near have it in the bag. One of the most daunting things is the hollandaise sauce. Oh, yes. We're gonna do this in a non-traditional way, but it's gonna turn out, the consistency and the taste profile is gonna be the same. Follow along with me, let's get out the blender. Let's do it. All right. Guys, so what I have here is I have three egg yolks. You need to be very careful that you only have the egg yolks. You do not want any whites. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead, put those guys right in there. Okay. Okay. okay, try to get most of this out. Okay, guys, next we're gonna take some cayenne pepper, okay. just a pinch. Okay, we're gonna put that guy right in the blender. Side, over there. And what if I really wanna keep, hit, uh, spice this up? <laughs> I, <laughs> I like a good kick. Well, go ahead and put some more in there then, but Jeff, I, I just wild. do a pinch. Jeff, we're getting wild. <laughs> I did two pinches. Let's see. 
the people in front I of might, you in the I office might are going to regret that. <laughs> the next thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to take a little bit of lemon juice, a tablespoon to two tablespoons. We're going to go ahead and put that right in the blender. So let's go ahead and just do it on low. It doesn't have to be long. That's it. So next we're going to use salted butter. Now if you used unsalted butter, you would add the salt. Let's just make it easy. Let's take an ingredient out of the list. Let's just use salted butter. Easy enough. This okay. is the last part that we could possibly run into a muck. We're going to warm this up so it's very hot. A minute, okay. possibly two minutes. Then we're going to have to concentrate and put it in our blender very slowly while the blender is running. After that, we're in the clear. Oh, right, there we go. Let's hit the microwave. All right. All right. Well, it's crazy how the fast this butter just melted. I, <laughs> weird how TV, TV magic. works, right? Yes. All right, Luke. Excellent. Let's next? just go ahead and let's just add our butter. The key to this is, guys, we're almost at the finish line. Add it very slowly. Okay, okay drizzle it in. We're going to want to start on low. Hollandaise together it should be a real thick, luxury, luxurious, kind of silky consistency mm -hmm. like what you have there. Just go ahead and sauce the top of that. I'll use a little bit of yours. All right, so how much? Right do you over want here? the egg yolk. Oh, yep. There we go. Add a boy. Now go crossways. Get the, yes. Leave it right there. You can always add more. I Sign love that. Sign your name while you're at it. <laughs> Beautiful. Right. I'll do the same to mine. Right. <laughs> Lastly, guys. We're going to finish this off. We're not quite done yet. We're going to take a little bit of dill weed. Okay. We're going to we're going to disperse it up top, up higher uh -huh. so it just gets a little bit more even. So go ahead. Absolutely. Uh-oh. I feel like I got a cross breeze. Yeah. yeah. Bring me over here, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> going to play the wind here. There we go. Beautiful, guys. The last thing we're going to look to do is we're going to just show the wife that we care. We're going to go ahead, we're going to buy some fresh <laughs> chives, and we're going to create a little bit of height to the plate by just putting that on the side. Okay. All right. The real part, though, the reason why we're here is to make sure it tastes good. Yes. Yeah. So I say we take this over to the tasting table. All right. Try it out. We're going to do that after the break. Stick with <laughs> us on Up North at 4. <laughs> All right, Chef Luke. The, the eggs, moment. Benedict, is complete. The moment is here. Shall we do this? Yeah, I think you should. Okay. I can smell the dill. I yes. can smell the locks. It's and, all going to complement nicely. And remember, Jeff, I went hog wild with the, uh, the cayenne, so there might be a bit <laughs> there of might a, be a kick in here. There might be a bit of a, a punch. Look at that. Oh, it's running. Oh, perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. So you want yeah, it to run, want. though, You right? do, you do. Okay. Yeah. That'll like you work. said, this is a luxurious, you want this to have an effect, right? You do, this is you do. you don't make every day. No, you don't. But oh, when you, you don't? I don't. I make it every day. <laughs> you do? What are you guys talking about? No. But it's one of those special things when you make it for your wife, it just shows that you care. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to try this kicked up. Um, I'm getting a little bit of everything in here. I'm trying. Let me know, Jeff. The sauce is kicked up a little. That's what I was going for. Delicious. Yeah? Really is good. Good. See, Chef? Look at this. Right, like, you do this every day. Absolutely. I'm a jealous of your life. <laughs> well, each day is an opportunity to get out of bed, create something incredible, better yourself, hone your skills. I look at that every day. Cooking is about creating. Yeah. Right? It's creating stuff. For sure, for sure. And you're doing private events, you're doing uh, dinners at people's houses. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. How could somebody get in touch with you and have you make them these uh, beautiful <laughs> eggs Benedict? Yeah, you can find me on Facebook. Otherwise, I do have a website, privatechefluke.com. Okay. There's a link. You can get a hold of me. Otherwise, my phone number, I'm sure we can put that somewhere. Oh, yeah. It's... Uh, yeah. Right there. We <laughs> you can get a hold of me. I love doing special events. Mm -hmm. These events are as important to you as they are to me. I want to see this through. They're all special. The most important event of my life is the one I have that week. Every day, yeah, absolutely. You're on an audition each time you do a dinner, and you're only as good as your last dinner. So it's really important that you see these things through and just create the food memories that we kind of talked about. I love it. Well, this has been a blast, and I now have a new recipe to impress my family members with. <laughs> Chef Luke, I appreciate you. It's a pleasure, man. It's been so much fun. In the meantime, Thanks, we're going to take You're a amazing. break. We'll be Thanks. back. I'm North at 4. Beautiful.